African nations have found themselves ensnared in a web of debt, a situation exacerbated by international financial institutions such as the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank. Since African nations endured a history of colonization and exploitation, they continue to face the challenge of managing their debts. The West, the IMF, and the World Bank have played a role in perpetuating this cycle, with the result that African nations find it increasingly difficult to escape the debt trap. However, President Lazarus Chukwera of Malawi has taken a bold step by demanding that the IMF cancels the country's debts. This move comes in response to the high interest rates imposed by the IMF, and the belief that these debts have already been paid off when all payments are considered. Welcome to Africa Info Hub. To ensure that you never miss out on our exceptional content, we kindly encourage you to subscribe. During his address at the United Nations General Assembly, Chukwera did not merely request debt cancellation. He issued an ultimatum to Western nations, warning them that Malawi may resort to alternative actions if its demands are not met. But what does he mean by this, and what exactly is President Chukwera planning to do? Let's delve deeper into this complex issue to better understand the situation. President Chukwera's call for debt cancellation is a resolute cry for help. He highlights the injustice of African nations paying off their debts while their citizens suffer in poverty. He likens this situation to allowing major financiers of the IMF to profit at the expense of basic necessities for Africans, such as food, clean water, and homes. The burden of debt faced by least developed countries, including Malawi, has become a significant impediment to their economic progress. Rather than aiding these nations, loans often ensure that developing countries remain trapped in cycles of debt. To repay existing loans, these nations often resort to acquiring further loans, initiating an unending debt spiral. Chukwera bolstered his demand by emphasizing the United Nations goal of eradicating poverty by 2030. However, he argued that this ambitious goal would remain unattainable if African nations were continually burdened with debt. He urged developed countries to recognize that the solution lies in cancelling the debts imposed on developing nations. Chukwera's plea for concrete action on the debt issue stems from the fact that Malawi, like many least developed countries, is grappling with an unsustainable debt burden. The government's call for debt cancellation is steadfast and unwavering, a plea on behalf of all least developed countries. Chukwera's address also highlighted the limited progress made by the United Nations community in recent years. This slow progress is attributed to various challenges, including the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, natural disasters, and conflicts in regions such as Ukraine. These formidable challenges underscore the urgent need to alleviate the debt burdens carried by developing countries. Malawi, in particular, is grappling with the consequences of its high debt commitments, including those to the IMF. These obligations have hindered the nation's economic advancement over the years. The nation's external debt load, which includes loans from global entities like the IMF, diverts a significant portion of the national budget towards servicing these debts. Funds that could otherwise be allocated to essential sectors such as healthcare, education, infrastructure development, and poverty alleviation are channeled into debt servicing. The consequence then becomes reduced public expenditure on critical services. Healthcare, education, and poverty alleviation programs have been curtailed due to these financial constraints. Moreover, Malawi faces substantial infrastructure deficits, including deficient road networks, energy provision, and telecommunications. The burden of debt restricts the government's capacity to invest in infrastructure development, which is pivotal for fostering economic growth and attracting foreign investments. President Chukwera's call for debt cancellation is, in part, a reaction to the policy conditions imposed by the IMF. These conditions, often referred to as structural adjustment programs, effectively grant the IMF control over a country's economic policies. While these policies aim to ensure economic stability, 
they can also lead to social and economic challenges, including reduced public spending on crucial services. Critics argue that the imposition of policy conditions by the IMF restricts the sovereignty and autonomy of African nations. Chukwera's demand for debt cancellation also acknowledges the volatility of the US dollar, which can complicate debt repayment. When the US dollar's value rises, nations like Malawi, which borrow in US dollars, must allocate more of their local currency to service their debts. This exchange rate risk significantly increases the cost of repaying debt in local currency terms. A depreciating local currency can lead to higher inflation rates and adversely affect the country's overall economic stability. The debt crisis in Africa is escalating, with nations directing significant portions of their budgets towards debt servicing. The burden of debt restricts their capacity to invest in healthcare, education, and poverty alleviation. Chukwera's call for debt cancellation is a bold move, but it reflects a broader issue that many African nations are grappling with. The call for debt relief extends beyond Malawi. During the IMF and World Bank meeting in Marrakesh, Nigeria and other countries intensified their campaign for Western countries to reduce or cancel their debts. The G24, of which Nigeria is a member, expressed concerns about the escalating levels of public debt in developing countries. They emphasized the need for sustainable debt management strategies and robust development initiatives. The debt crisis in Africa, exacerbated by the policies of international financial institutions, is a significant challenge that calls for international action. Chukwera's call for debt cancellation is a pivotal step towards addressing this issue, but the path to a debt-free Africa remains complex and challenging. However, it highlights the pressing need for a fair and equitable international financial system that supports the economic development and prosperity of African nations. Addressing Africa's debt crisis is an urgent global concern. The call for debt relief, exemplified by President Chukwera's demand for debt cancellation, sheds light on the challenges faced by African nations. It is a call for fairness, equity, and economic freedom. The debt crisis in Africa is a complex issue with profound implications for the continent's development and prosperity. It calls for international action and reform of the global financial system to ensure that African nations can break free from the chains of debt and embark on a path towards self-sufficiency and economic growth. The world is watching to see if this call for debt cancellation will lead to meaningful change and a brighter future for Africa and its nations. What did you think of our video? Please share your thoughts on our video in the comment section below. If you found it enjoyable, we encourage you to spread the word to your friends and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it with your social circle on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter as well.